Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe this channel. In previous video, we have seen how you can display static image and static text in recycler view format by using a lazy column concept. And now we click on this and we have the response also like this so now in this video we want to learn how we can fetch same kind of information means images and some description of that image from the internet in form of json we will use the volley to fetch the json information from the internet in previous video i also explained about retrofit how you can fetch information from the retrofit so here i am going to explain the same retrofit concept with the help of volley uh, both are same concept volley and retrofit but they are different libraries so in previous video i have explained retrofit also and in this video i am going to explain volley so let us start so first of all we have a api from github in this api i have the json format so I will convert this JSON format into the data class. So for that I have installed a plugin. That plugin if you go to setting and go to plugin here. Then you have JSON to Kotlin class plugin. Install it. I have already installed. And after installation then just right click on a package. New and you have an option Kotlin data class file from JSON. Here paste it and convert into uh, the array because it is array like this so the information is here just put here file name so i say user data as a file name click on generate and automatically you will have a this data class here as the array list of this user item all the information those are available here here all information will go to there so it is easy way to convert any json format into data class now uh, in previous video i use a static data so in this video i do not want this static data so i make it comment and i may comment this data also so now uh, what i have to do i have to uh, convert this into a volley format so for that here i'm going to change make a change for volley uh, one more thing you have to remember that you have to uh, install a plugin also dependencies also that would be volley only one plugin and one more plugin i have installed here that library is called coil so this library is useful to convert any image url into image format so here I have a URL of image uh, like this. So with the help of this, we have convert. Remember image painter. This is the composable function. That function is from the this coil library that convert any URL into image. So that's why we are using. Now I just create here the variable of uh, data class so we say user data of user data like this now i have to create one more variable that would be data of remember and here i have to take mutable state of and here user uh, data i have to pass and here i have to pass here user data type and i have to create like this so that will save the state and now what i do i need uh, uh, well also a string query string request and this is string request i need uh, to call a base url also so i will have base url also here 
base url and here i will pass a string of base url that would be https i just copy from here and i paste here like this url so i pass here base url then i pass here uh, listener so response uh, response dot listener and then one more i need a response dot dot error listener like this and now it want to convert into a shortcut format so we can convert into standard format like this and now we uh, can use it if we have an error so we say toast dot make test application context it dot to string to generate error otherwise we have to display information then if no error then uh, what i do i need json builder so i say json builder equal to json builder so i need to convert json also uh, for that because i did not uh, here inserted json library so i need to install json library also so what i do i just type here uh, json converter the dependency and a json converter dependency and from here uh, i just copy and uh, we have a latest library version is 2.2.9.0 uh, so i just insert it done now i need here json builder uh, like this now uh, i have to create one more json object from json builder dot create now i need to uh, call uh, we say json from json file and here what i do i need to uh, pass your it and i have to pass the class name so i say array of user data item and here i say class dot this to pass dot for each for each and this one for each if data is coming uh, then we have to add user data dot add and here i have to pass it and after uh, after after converting this and doing this we have to pass this data into user data like this so one by one we will fetch the information from this if information is fetching and we have add the information then we will pass it here again I have to change it to value and here I have to change this also so we say user data item like this and here i have to change with the image id to avatar url and i need to change this to login same i have to change it to login and why i am changing it because if you will see here in user data gram 
we have a aftar url as a image and we have a login as a information so we did this now what i do uh, we convert this and one more thing i can do here that uh, after this function and i say apply and if this information is done after that i will execute this code to make it safer like this now one more one error is remain so i have to check this error where is the error so that is the bracket is need so that bracket is required okay we have this one as extra so i did this one now i think we did hit now the last thing is to set this information so we have to call this as a volley library so what i do i need one more variable and i say volley uh, request we can say request and we say uh, volley dot new request queue and here uh, in request queue i pass the application context and then uh, by volley request volley there a uh, volley request dot uh, add and here i pass a string uh, request so i am fetching here a string request so with the help of volley i am just uh, making a request for this string and this string we have completed just now and now i run it after run it it will fetch information from the internet so we have a error because we do not have a internet permission so again we have to add here internet permission and then once again we have to execute it you see we having information now so all this information is coming from internet so how you can test we have this url here we have this url here avatar url just copy this and try to paste it and you will have the image of that person same image we have here as a first user and the user information so this information we are displaying here other information you can also display because we have all information under this so we all information we have anything you can dis display here but here for example purpose i am using only image and login information so uh, you have seen that it's a so simple way to understand the volley request i try to make it very simple and i think you have learned something from this video if you really learn anything from this video please like share and subscribe this channel and thank you for watching this video